it's generally a very bad practice to leave any new dog loose in your house while you go to work to, for eight hours. They're always going to get into some type of trouble and when they do they learn those activities are fun and they own them for the rest of their life and you'll spend a lot of time trying to correct little problems that the dog has acquired like tearing up your couch or ripping down your drapes. Once they learn it's fun to do they're going to do it over and over again throughout their lifetime. We recommend if you don't have a dog run in your backyard using a dog crate. Um, dog box, dog cage, a lot of different words uh, used to describe the same thing. Uh, this one is sized appropriately for this dog and what she's doing is she's tossing a piece of food in to get the puppy to go in. And at first the puppy may be reluctant. Uh, if you have time on your side and you've got your new dog on a Friday and you're going to be home Saturday and Sunday, you can feed him in the crate. So if he doesn't want to go in the crate, he doesn't get fed. So he learns to go out on his own. But just doing what Carrie's doing by tossing a piece of food and letting him go in, that generally works really well. You never want to leave any collars on the dog while it's in its crate. Kennel command should be kennel even though the door's open. Uh, a lot of times dogs, as soon as you open up the door, they come bum rushing out, they don't have any collars on. So you want to make sure the dog is comfortable if you're rewarding it and actually making it stay in there while the door is open. Good. If for some reason you do have a dog that's rushing your kennel, the door works great for this. And then as you start to open it, if they start to bum rush out, just make a little popping against the kennel here, and it makes usually a noise that'll startle them back to the back. We generally don't allow a dog to put a foot outside the crate until the collar is on. So you'll find a lot of dogs will adapt the behavior of standing in the crate and sticking their head and neck way out of the cage in order that we can get the collar on so they can come out. So the whole thing is to make it a good experience and not a bad one. <laughs> Free. That's it. That's a smart baby. Yes, you are.